Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Happy Friday, truck race tonight at Martinsville. Uh, but this Diecast Review is of Casey Kane's 2008 Budweiser Clydesdale 75th Anniversary Fantasy Car Elite. Um, I don't remember if I did this in ARC or not. I know I haven't done the Elite yet. Um, best $100 pickup I've ever had. Love this car. Um, and so I, I had to pick it up when I had a chance to get it. So um, anyway, this was a fancy car. It did not run at any track, which is unfortunate because it's a really good looking paint scheme. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we'll start with the box. We've got our standard Elite box. Here's our sleeve. Uh, number nine, Casey Kane, Budweiser. And then the 75th anniversary, 1933 to 2008. Gosh, 2008. Uh, we're getting somewhat close to the 100th, but it won't matter because uh, it's Bush now. Uh, RCCA Elite uh, over there as well. Go to the back of the car. Uh, there you see one of 300 Elite for the 2008 Clydesdale Fantasy Car. Uh, also the NASCAR Hologram on there, the little program they used to do. Uh, I think you can enter them online and get free rewards and junk. I did it once, got a, re got a free replay from a, of a clip, and I was like, oh, that's all it is, and never did it ever, ever, ever again after that. Uh, let's go ahead and get on to the die cast here. All right, so this this thing is awesome. We're going to start on our left side. We have got a black splitter. we got a red uh, left side. There's no pattern in it, just basic gloss colors. You can see a little gold or bronze stripe and then a, and a black skirt down there. Uh, metal black rims there that actually look really really good they kind of have a shine to them uh something cool about those 2008 and previous elites is they the rims are very shiny because they are metal if you can actually touch them they're a little cold uh because they are metal and then you got the goodyear tire on them uh but anyway you got the number nine there you can see a couple of clydesdales uh towards the wheel well you got budweiser on the left rear corner casey kane the american flag obviously no sponsors here no sponsors here all that is just due to the fact that it is a uh, fantasy car you do have Dodge on the on the left side wing. Um, there is no ethanol ring because that didn't start to this point. Uh, window net does pop out. You can pop that down kind of like that. And then inside you can see the steering wheel, radio wire, um, other different things that are included on the Elite chassis. Pop that back in there. All right, let's get to the rear here. So we got the Budweiser, the great American logger charger. And then again, that little bronze stripe with a black tip on the base of the bumper. Uh, inside the rear, you can see we got our brace on the right side, two tethers that hold the deck lid down, and then our fuel cell in there. Uh, let's see, is it going to fold? No, probably not. No, it is going to fold. It'll be fine. So we pop that down. We got Budweiser on the rear deck lid. Um, again, the black, gold, bronze. I'm going to call it bronze. Black, bronze, and, and red there. Uh, DIN number is 103, so 103 of 300. Uh, underneath here, you can see the roof flap has these two tethers that uh, hold the roof flap in so when they come up this stops it from you know flipping over too far do have an antenna hole up there as well big number nine on the roof with a red background um, let's go to the right side same as the left we've got the Clydesdales kind of coming down uh, towards the rear of the car we've got Budweiser up here uh, number nine tailpipes down there a little bit of red paint around there I don't know if that's a chip or what that is it doesn't bother me enough I can always you know I can always touch up paint that, um, but the, the paint actually has a really good quality. You can see here it's a little dirty. That's just the fibers, and it's all clean. So it's just the fibers off the little black cloth in the box. Uh, you get to the very front, you have the Dodge Charger front end. You can see the little silver grill plate here. Uh, we got the black splitter down there as well, and then uh, the air intake underneath, which has also got a little plate in it. There you can see it, little metal plate in there. Uh, and then there's the Charger front end. Um, there's the headlights there, but this is actually a, an Avenger front end um, with a Charger decal on it. Um, let's see here. I don't have anything on me, but uh, you can noticeably tell the difference between a 2008 Charger and a 2008 post-release Charger. And the main one is the nose. Um, see this nose here, uh, the sticker is correct. It'll match um, all post-2008 standard, I don't know what you'd call it, basically all-star race on down the line all had this new grill. Uh, decal um, but not all of them had a new mold and you can see this one it's it's still got the mold for the old Avenger nose that they used in the 2007 COT um, so you can kind of see it it's hard to tell but you can see where they're kind of where the wrinkles are 
Uh, maybe I gotta go from the side. It might be easier to see it from the side. Um, not really, but you, there are wrinkles in there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but it does have the Dodge Avenger wrinkles in there, or like, I shouldn't say wrinkles, the mold. You can see it right here mostly. See right here where that headlight has a little bump right there? That's where the Avenger uh, grill was, but uh, being this was a charger, the grill was different. Uh, so that's kind of one of those neat little tidbits that not a lot of people know about, is that the Dodge Avenger mold was used even though the Dodge Charger uh, decal was being applied for part of the 08 season. By 2009, they did have it fixed, um, but for the 2008 season, there was a portion of it that was that was wrong. Uh, underneath here, you got 75th anniversary for the Clydesdales, and then we got our engine detail. Let me see how high I can pop it, about that far. Um, we do have a coolant hose in there. Uh, there are some belts. We've got a couple of wires towards the back in there. Obviously, the braces and tethers are in there as well. Uh, radio equipment right up inside the windshield there. You can see all the red wires running up through there. Um, they're all piled up on the dash there. But um, underneath, we'll go ahead and take a look there. we got 103 here. There's our bumper bar. One of my favorite parts of the Elites is just the fact that the bumper bar is actually in it. Um, you can see all the rear end detail in there. Uh, it looks really, really good. Um, and then, of course, we got under the front end. You can see all the different... Uh, wires and cables that are running up through there. Um, rear end does move up and down. Front end moves up and down. Not as much as the ARC. The ARC, the rear doesn't move just the fronts, um, but on the Elite, they both move just not 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 a ton. They, they, they move, but they don't move a ton. Um, overall, this is by far one of the coolest fantasy schemes. Uh, one of the only ones for Casey Kane that I have. Uh, a bunch of the other ones were like the the Christmas ones, I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, I'm, I'm only a fan if it looks like a real race car, and the biggest reason this one does is they kept the contingency decals on there. And as I said, I wish it ran. This thing should have run somewhere. It's a cool-looking car. So uh, it's a shame Budweiser missed their opportunity because Kane only ran like three schemes in 2008. Almost all of them were in the red Budweiser car. One or two of them were in the Budweiser LifeLock car, and then there was this car, which never ran. But um, anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you uh, subscribe if you're new. I have daily diecast content and race reviews on the weekend. Uh, I said, looking forward to Martinsville tonight. Should be a fun race. Uh, hope you guys all enjoy. But uh, as for this video, this will wrap it up. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.